Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. Uh, beautiful day on campus. A little quieter than usual because we are at the uh, sort of almost the tail end here of final exams, which is just amazing to consider that a week from this Saturday, we're going to be looking at commencement. Uh, some great things we just had this past week. We had the, uh, the celebration of the awards for athletics uh, out on, on uh, Alumni Field. I don't know if you've seen that before, but it's, I, I really like the setup. Each of the teams uh, sits almost in their own groups around the entire alumni field. They had uh, six or eight uh, food trucks out there, gourmet desserts, you know, whole kind of uh, wonderful food. And uh, the teams then give out their own individual awards. And then we do sort of a big there's a podium and, and some of the big departmental awards that are given out uh, with everybody there in attendance. So just was great to see everybody. Again, just such a great group of students that we have uh, on our athletic programs. And coaches are just fantastic, all that they do. In other athletic news, Ben Goble on the men's baseball team won the National Hitter of the Week Award, which is presented by the, uh, the National Collegiate Baseball Athletics Writers Association. It's a great honor, uh, tremendous accolades, and, and wish him the best with that. Uh, baseball also is continuing. Uh, they just won the last game, I guess it was a Catawba. I think it was like a six, 16 to one win, and they're gonna be uh, competing in the uh, Conference Carolinas tournament coming up in this next week, so we wish them the best. Men's tennis has excelled uh, in extraordinary ways. Not only did they win the season outright, but they also won the uh, Conference Carolina tournament and they qualified for the NCAA regional tournament as well. So they will be competing at Columbus State this coming weekend and uh, wish them the best. They're just a, a great team, a great group. It was so fun to see them out there, the relationships, the friendships. Um, my understanding is one of our strengths, by the way, on the tennis program is that we have such a, a significant size tennis program and it's a real advantage at competitions because most places only the only the players coming and they don't have that big a team and it's just very quiet and they just compete against each other. We, we have so many players on the tennis team that we have our own built-in uh, audience for almost every match and so I think they're taking a bus. So I think everybody's going and I, I think that's deserved because as a team they've really all pulled together and helped one another to reach this level. So that's going to be exciting. Great uh, kudos to uh, Mike Solomon, who's the head coach. Uh, he's done a great job in his leadership and mentorship and coaching ability and so forth. Just so grateful to him for everything. We've got a few birthdays coming up. I'm going to mention a few of those. I know we have Father David Brown uh, from the monastic community. And we have uh, Dr. Scott Broyles, who's in uh, political science. He does our moot court and so forth. Dr. Diana Elliott in psychology. Uh, Dr. Chad Esterbooks in math. Uh, Mr. Mark McLaughlin on campus police. Uh, Ms. Constance Oliver, instructional designer. Dr. Joseph Pisa, who is in our English department. Uh, Ms. Taylor Rosenberger, uh, academic advisor. Dr. Lawrence Reardon in government. Uh, Dr. Hugh Sales uh, in business. He's also the chair of the faculty assembly. And Dr. Kelly Smollenberger in math. So hopefully you'll get a chance to see them on campus in the coming week and uh, wish them a, a happy birthday. And uh, with that, I'll just say uh, it's great to be with you again. I'll look forward to seeing you on campus sometime soon. Hope all the exams go well for everybody. You'll be in my prayers. And until I see you next time, take care and God bless.